Hi, I'm Helen Peters, author of the Jasmine Green Rescue series, and I am thrilled for this book to be included in Camp Candlewick. I recommend the Jasmine series for readers aged six to nine. If you love animal stories, this could definitely be a new favourite for you. Jasmine and her best friend Tom rescue and care for all sorts of animals they find around Jasmine's farm. Jasmine's dad is a farmer and her mum is a farm vet, so there are always animals that need their help. I'm going to read you the beginning of the latest book in the series, A Goat Called Willow, to give you a flavour of the story. Chapter 1. Kid for Sale. You can buy yourselves a souvenir or spend it on fairground rides and cotton candy, whichever you like, said Mum, handing some money to Jasmine and her best friend Tom. Meet me back here at four o'clock, OK? Wow, thanks Mum, said Jasmine, looking in delight at the money. Thank you very much, Dr Singh, said Tom. Come on, Skye, said Jasmine, giving her sheepdog's leash a little shake. Let's go and see the sheep. The Fenton Sheep Fair was held every year in a big field on the farm in the South Downs. There was a fairground, a craft tent and all sorts of stalls selling food and drinks. But for Jasmine and Tom, the main attraction was the sheep. They made their way to the top of the field. Several rows of pens had been built from metal rails with walkways between the rows. Each pen contained a small group of sheep, all washed and groomed to perfection. A voice crackled over the sound system. The next class to be judged will be Southdown ewe lambs. Could all entrants make their way to the show ring, please? Oh, look, said Jasmine. She hurried along the walkway to get a closer look. Oh, it's so cute. In the far corner of the furthest pen sat a beautiful baby goat. As Jasmine and Tom leaned over the gate, the kid greeted them with a high-pitched bleat. Oh, you're so sweet, said Jasmine. It's a girl, said Tom. Look, she's for sale. He pointed to a handwritten notice tied to the bars of the pen. Female kid for sale. Jasmine's eyes widened. I wish we could buy her. Tom laughed. Imagine how mad your mum and dad would be if you did. Jasmine already had six animals of her own and her parents had told her she wasn't allowed any more. Anyway, said Tom, noticing a price written in below the sign. With the money your mum gave us, we could only buy half of her. The little goat bleated and took a few tentative steps towards the children. Jasmine stroked her back. Her coat's so soft, she said. Feel it, Tom. Sorry, little goat. I can't buy you, but I hope you find a lovely home. Mind your backs said a gruff voice behind them. They turned to see a man leading two sheep on halters. Excuse me, said Jasmine, is this your kid? He grunted in a tone that Jasmine understood to mean yes. She's beautiful, how old is she? Four weeks, he said. If you're not going to buy her, clear off. I've had enough time wasters asking stupid questions. Actually, I'm thinking about buying her, said Jasmine giving him a look that she hoped made it clear she was a serious farmer about to do a deal. Well, don't think about it much longer. I'm heading off shortly. What will you do if you don't sell her today? Jasmine asked. Shoot her. Shoot her? No, why would you do that? The mother just died and I don't have time to bottle feed the kid. Jasmine was suddenly filled with determination. She had no idea how she was going to manage it, but she knew one thing. She wasn't going to allow this tiny animal to be shot. So, Jasmine and Tom secretly buy the baby goat and arrange to have her delivered to Jasmine's farm. But then they have to keep her in secret. And when one day Willow escapes and follows them to school, Jasmine is suddenly in big trouble. There are lots of other titles for you to discover in the Jasmine Green series. I've got a few of them here. There's a piglet called Truffle, a duckling called Button, a collie called Sky, and a kitten called Holly. And look, this is one of my favourite things, each book has a map of the farm inside it. Thank you so much for watching and listening and for keeping up your reading skills over the summer. I hope you have a great time discovering new books this summer. 
I'm so excited each time I pick up a new book because I know that as soon as I open it, I'll be meeting new people and going on new adventures. Every book you read takes you to a whole new world. And that's why books are magical. I hope you enjoy exploring Jasmine's world and many other worlds this summer.